Hey, girl. I used a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen this nut right here on the positive terminal. Same for the negative terminal. And then the piece that was holding the battery on, I used the same wrench to remove that screw and, or that bolt and this um, nut. There's this little really tall bolt behind here that's just kind of flopping around. So I'll need to make sure that goes back in before I put the battery back in. See, there we go, it's this round hook shaped thing. Okay, so the positive terminal is loose, the negative terminal is not, so I just need to get a screwdriver in there and kind of loosen things up a bit. Just as long as it'll wiggle off. There we go. So now the negative terminal is off, I'll put it out of the way. Positive terminal, I can use a screwdriver to kind of pry that up a little bit. There we go. Now, I just need to lift the battery straight up. Tray that the battery sits in, empty that out. This thing. Tray goes back in. Toothbrush and clean off that corrosion. They have this cool thing here with sort of a wire brush on the inside of a circle that you put over the terminal and you clean off corrosion. Of course these are clean because it's a new battery, but if you ever had corrosion on the old battery but the battery itself is still good, you would use that. For this, I'm just cleaning off the corrosion on the old battery cables because that'll at one point at some point we'll eat through these battery cables and we'll have to replace the battery cables. So by keeping the corrosion off, uh, it kind of delays the delays the inevitable replacement of the battery cables. Okay. <coughs> Close my eyes when I did that because I know I was gonna get acid corrosion in my eyes. Alright. The only other thing I should have done is when we were at the auto parts store get a little it's like a little ketchup packet of this gel you put on the terminals and it just impedes corrosion a little bit. There we go. So the cables are back on the terminal. Let's go ahead and hook this little, okay, we're ready to go there, we'll hook that down in a moment. Let's go ahead and 
check the fit on this. Eh, not great, but it's okay, it'll keep it from flopping around. The battery we bought from Napa is just a tiny bit shorter than the battery we bought, we bought from Toyota. You can see this gap right here. But there's nothing to do about it. Alright, we gotta I can't bend this this piece. So we'll just go ahead and put this piece back on. And then I'll get this long thing here. this make sure it's hooked down there under the battery tray and get this piece here with this nut Oops. okay I think here you come. I hear a stand. Dad. Hi, Garlo. I gotta go. Okay. Go. I'm ready for you to go. While you're loading up, I'm tightening up these last couple of bolts. Oh. Are you filming it? Yeah. So where are you going? Do you know any of the tunes? Uh, nope. You're just going to improvise? Nope. Oh, I thought you were playing. Yeah, Nathan is. Pardon me? Nathan is bringing music. Ah, you're going to sight read? Yep. Fun. Is it just you and Nathan, piano and cello? Yep. No violin? Nope. Ha ha. Ah. Suck it, trouble clef. Hey, try your car, make sure it starts up. Or I'll try it if you need to go get some. All right, well then you're all set. Okay. Have fun, girl. I will. Maybe. Bye, Dad. Bye, girl. Love you. Am I going to hit the tripod when I back up? Nope. Don't hit Robert's car. Don't hit Robert's car. <laughs> 